Hello friends and welcome back. I've given things a bit of thought between episodes. We will be pressing that button to relocate the noobs. It'll make them uppity for a while, but hopefully not too much. I should have checked that before I clicked the button, but it does not seem to be an issue, so I am not punished by my stupidity, which is good. So Yancheng has rocketed up in population over Zhangdi, which is good. So we'll be saving up our... Wow, we have over a thousand income now. Is that still with the diplomatic expenses? I want to know. Teach me. Uh, expenses. Nope, we're still paying 400 monies. We have a lot of authority now though, so we could get some more settlements and I might want to do that actually. And we can get a settler here, push it out somewhere in this direction, might want to place it over here, it might be a little bit far. But I don't think you can place one right next to the river. I don't want to place it here because that touches borders. This is just. Mm. I don't think. Oh, I can chop the wood over here. Then I will probably do so. That means eight turns of nothing. No. It doesn't bother me very much. So let's continue scouting over here. Let's. Figure out who's capital, like what <coughs> what town that is. This is still continuing to be a worrying situation. I want to have some more militia over here. And they are fighting like crazy, but it's not us fighting, which is okay. I could slow it down and zoom in and have some some cool shots I guess but oh we might want to figure out what's going on over here there's a walled settlement here it's Bo it's the Shang capital uh, have they been pushed this far by the white D that's worrying they have four archers and a tribal light spearman over here, as well as a, another tribal light spearman there, and another archer here. They have two generals, their faction leader and it, their heir, maybe? <coughs> they do not have very, mu very much key or virtue, either of them. But just having the uh, the units here prevents all of these archers from being very effective. So uh, we might want to keep an eye out for that. I know the White D is a very like, aggressive dynasty. Playing next to them means that you will always be in conflict with them. We might want to put a trading thing here to trade down that river move it later. We got some settlement upgrades here. We have an the Zhang is now a level two town, so it holds more more stuff. Oh look at this. It's trading all over our road network. Which is nice, which is nice. We have more more things we could build here now. Might want to do that. I want to upgrade the palace for some more culture points, but I won't do that. We have enough money to upgrade Yan Sheng now, but maybe we will. Trade route is blocked, it tells me. Yan Sheng domestic trade route blocked. Why is that? blocked because of this noble chariot here. Interesting. We might want to deal with that. And by maybe, I mean definitely. 
didn't expect to have to deal with the Wu this quickly, but apparently we do. We Wu. <laughs> uh, until, until he steps on one of our farms, I won't do anything down there. So, just so I don't have to deal with it, I'll go up there and finally figure out how it looks up here now. They got that town back. I might want to keep that town actually. I place a town here, and a town here, here and that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Just talking to myself, talking to myself. In a way, we got two more palisades, which is good. Champagne still doesn't have a palisade. We might want to fix those two up. We got terrace farming now. So I will get the trained chariots. We finished up the weaponsmith over here too. Now we can't build anything more because we don't have enough building slots. There's no more space for buildings here. So we'll have to wait until this is finally upgraded. <coughs> we have four population and other activities. I wonder what that is. So, I don't really know. Who knows? Let's uh, terrace farm a little bit, I guess. Since we still need more food here, soon grown enough, soon soon. You are almost done building your farms here, so we will terrace farm a little bit. Ooh. That's steep, not just the hills. <laughs> We're still growing over here. You can grow a lot further now that you're a level 2 town. Let's do that. That's fine. That's fine. These are now starting to irrigate. Like that. This. Sorry if that S sound I usually make whistles a lot. Can't really help it, it's just a thing. I'm a Scandinavian and the S sound we make just happens to whistle like that because of how lips move. It's a language issue. I'm fully aware of this. But other than that, let's continue on. Some combat music. We have an upgrade here in Jiansheng now. It's finally done. It might need some walls. Maybe. Is it building any farms? Nope, it's not building any farms. So let's use this to chop down some wood. Then produce some farms. Like this. SSSS. And for good measure, put down a pottery workshop. Ah, who cares? So, I didn't check this last turn, I should have. We can now recruit a trained dagger axeman, and we actually will recruit four of those to get the queue restarted because we, want, we probably want some more uh, trained archers, maybe. Yes, we will probably need, need and want two to four more. Okay, that's an outrageous amount of archers. Dong Yi. I don't know if this guy, these guys over here are attacking each other or what, or if it's just this guy attacking these guys. What might kill these guys might be the readiness, which might be a big problem for them, especially now that they've got their faction leader and heir over here, which have good stats, both of them, and they're well rested, sort of. I think this guy is stuck out here. 
And I think I've uh, ran, ran into this issue as the Chu before, that this specific island out here is just, you can get on it, but once a flood event, flood event happens, uh, you are stuck there forever, because you can't actually bridge across that without a town, I think. Uh, which is uh, interesting, to say the least. I think that's how it works, at least. I think that's the crossing I'm talking about. I might just be hallucinating, for all I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen towns. Thirteen authority, we could afford putting down more, but we will not for now. They're still managing to beat those archers away because they're pushing the archers into the melee. And archers are terrible in melee. So they keep losing one unit every turn, but ooh, man, that hurt a lot. They're bringing in some actual infantry now, so I think we might see the... the uh, the, Ch the Shang actually just disappear off the map here. Can we make them recognize us as Emperor? Can we make them our vassal? <clears throat> if we offer to attack the White D, they might have might accept that, but that would mean we have to move troops up there. Mm. Let's see. They accept. Okay. So they are our vassal now, and they will they do consider us to be the Emperor. Because they are forced to, since we're their we are their overlord. Shang or war. They are now at peace, they are now at peace, because they got vassalized, but we will be attacking the Dong Yi. <coughs> no, the, the white, the, the white D, not the Dong Yi. God damn it. So, this forces us into an interesting situation. I wanted to use train troops only, but now that we have this situation, I'm gonna recruit these three. Little tank our economy. Move them up there. You guys can come too. And just to back them up, I will actually recruit a few of these. We could get some peasant dagger axemen, but they are not, just not worth it. Could upgrade Xin Sheng too next turn. This guy's just gonna stand there until we have chopped down that forest. Yep, it'll take two turns. You've finally found the coast. Interesting. So move across and figure out what's what's next. There's a no there's a bandit leader there. And you can push across this, maybe you can push next to the river. Next turn we will upgrade Xin Sheng. This is a very interesting situation here. I don't really know if they are gonna actually attack the the Chun, the, the Chu. I'd prefer if they didn't. Oh right, we we finished some technology too. We got a sickness in bow, which is not good. I mean, yep, that reduced the health in a lot of guys. We got the five elements knowledge here, so we will push to get this, because it reduces casualties suffered after victorious battle, and it decreases the chance for... It just reduces the effect of disease. Acupuncture. Who knew? Got Jade working, now we will get Churn Drill. 
after after this we are gonna have to push for Oracle Bones and then Logographic Script so we get some more culture and can enlist a she if we want to. I think I remember it <coughs> not being very good though because you have to spend permanent authority or something along those. Something along those lines. Sorry, I was just clearing my throat. Still having that croaking frog down the old throat arena. Some palisades in, in there. Some shiny. You need your city upgrade now. We lost some of our profit that turn. Was that four point nine 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 five? That's an uncomfortable number. It's upgrading. We're pushing north here. There's some was there a town here at some point? Maybe they are now safe. Push this here. It's very white in my screen at the moment. Why is it gotta be white though, hmm? Is that it? We're still fighting here. Some of them bodyguard, and that's an archer. There's some Kaolinite here. Uh, they want us to offer information about enemies. Sure thing. Ally request. We trust that you have honor and will support us as our agreement demands. Okay, so the White D has declared war on them and our vassal wants us to defend them, and of course we will accept that because we promised we would go to war. And and as such, we are now at war. There's Yin. Which puts us in a very interesting situation. There's a war between the White D and the Shang. Settlement upgrade in the Xinsheng, which is it's now a tier 2 city. And our income has reduced very much. But I don't think that will be much of a problem. So these guys are starts out as herders, but they've obviously built some farms, so they must have spent 20 some turns researching that. Which is good, maybe. We are, we are at turn 69 now. <laughs> And um, that uh, that means they have gotten a lot of the power tech tree done, but spending 25 turns and doing just one thing, starting farming, could be could mean that they don't have a lot a lot of the other things. Uh, we cleared the the forest on this tile, so now we'll plop down the town there. Ying Kui, Jinki. That cleared the two forest tiles right next to it by os osmosis, because obviously that's how that works. We finished the last irrigated farm over here. Zoom in and have a look at that. So now we can see it's slightly shiny over here, which means they have connected that to a, some sort of water system, I guess. Expect that a little bit more, maybe, but it doesn't matter. You can't expect everything, can you? Now that we are war up there, we should probably consider uh, having a road stretching over there. So we'll build up 
these two tiles here and chop down that forest and meet it up with this road over here. Here is our big stack. I think you can only have one more unit in you, but it doesn't matter because I'll split you up to have four and three and have the two archers with a group of four noble, a noble dagger axemen and the one with the three. These guys hopefully don't attack here because that breaks our agreement and will push me to have to slap them again. Pref I'd prefer to not have to do that. So let's spend some money on building a bazaar here and here, because we can. It won't impact our economy very much. Early on you might want to like consider where you place your bazaars, but now we've reached the stage where having a bazaar in every town might be profitable for us, especially if we propagate the trade outwards. Um, maybe, maybe not, maybe, who knows. Let's recruit two more militia here and send them over here just to defend the town, especially since there's a white D there and I don't want them taking that town for free. Uh, we might not have, we might not see a war with with the Wu at all for a while now that we are declaring war on the, the white D. The smart move here would have been to send these units down here and finish off this and just make sure our borders here are more complete and defended. But uh, we probably want to keep the, the Shang as a vassal. It would reflect poorly on us if we let our newly found vassal to die, if you ask me. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.